as old as Africa itself. And as the old Africa vanishes, this scene may vanish too. The white or square-lipped rhino, a remnant of prehistory, is threatened with extinction. The Umfalozi Game Reserve in South Africa is perhaps their last stronghold. A hundred and fifty years ago, the whole of Southern Africa saw great herds of square-lipped rhinos. Then came the rifle and large-scale destruction. They disappeared from Bechuana land, Southwest Africa, the Rhodesias, the Transvaal and Mozambique. Mounting carcasses dotted the continent. The hunters wanted trophies, the poachers were doing great business, exporting the horns to the east. And the vultures were hard put to keep pace in their scavenging. <laughs> By 1880, the number of rhinos had dwindled alarmingly. In South Africa, in 1912, Vaughan Kirby fought for the retention of the Umfalozi Game Reserve and succeeded in saving the few rhinos still surviving in the thick bush. Protected, they increased. 100 in 1930, 600 in 1962. Today, they are one of South Africa's major tourist attractions. Thrilling visitors who come from afar to enjoy sights like these. On the wilderness trails, through the same African bush, which saw earliest man's beginnings. Yama? Yama, give me the so handbag. Got a iPhone, give me handbag now. I was really hoping I would get chosen and then when she called me and told me that I've been chosen, it was like the best moment. And yeah, I've been excited for the past weeks, ever since she told me, I've been very excited. What I'm hoping to experience is um, falling asleep under the stars. I've never like had that. My ears got too much J. There's a crime everywhere, so you can never just sleep outside. No, it's impossible. See you all on Sunday. I'll see you next Monday. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm <laughs> 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 
bra ändå i lag. It's a Bella Kisra wildlife says three poachers remain on the run after a shootout at the Shushu Mfolosi Park. Two accomplices were shot dead in the gun battle with field rangers yesterday. In Zambelo's Musam Tambo says five poachers who killed and dehorned a rhino were spotted by rangers as they were fleeing through a fence. He says the trio escaped with the horn. There's no time to play. There's always one high alert right now. So almost every day that people try to poach. Okay, and Mtambo says the number of rhinos killed by poachers is startling. There's been an increase in terms of rhinos poached in our game preserves because this year we have lost 142 rhinos. Last year we lost 151 over the whole year. In a separate case, three suspected poachers are due to appear in the Shushuwa Magistrates Court today after they were caught with poaching gear on Friday night. Meanwhile, two brothers and a Zimbabwean man will line up in a Limpopo court on charges linked to rhino poaching. No roads, no electricity, no house, nothing. It's a pure world. Okay. As we're walking, we'll be using animals path, like the rhino path, elephant path. Okay, we don't create our own path. We have a big five here. Um, as you know, lions, leopard, two species of rhinos, black and white, and elephant, buffaloes. Uh, when we walk here, we have to walk carefully and away. Okay. And uh, we don't talk at all as we're walking. The animals here are walking freely, but they are not here to attack us. We're sharing the space, we are sharing the same environment with them. So what we need is respect. We have to respect them so that they can respect us. So for us to respect them is to make sure when they come toward us, we get off the path, we allow them to walk past. Normally, when you come across to the cats, the cats, it's lions, leopards. Okay. We don't run away from those kind of animals. Okay. If you start running, if you see the, uh, the lion coming towards you, you'll be attacked. You don't move, you don't do the eye contact, because if you're doing that, the eye contact, it's like you're challenging them. Your eyes must be looking down on the ground, and then your ears must be open. Buffaloes and the rhinos. Okay. We will tell you to take the cover. What is the cover? A tree, this one, it's your cover. Maybe for two or one person. If we say take the cover, you go behind the tree, okay? The animals won't go through to this tree because it's solid. Uh, as the animals come closer to the tree, don't change the direction. Starting to look another tree. You won't get there, trust me. Don't move. This is your personal journey. And uh, this is your own experience. Um, the energy that you're bringing in right now or today will be the result of the end of this trip.
Good. Yeah, yes, pain. I'm going to say what you need to do. So I got to do this with my wife. If it's too heavy now, you kind of feeling your back and it's too heavy for when you can ask to swipe with somebody else. We're all going in one place and it's going to help us to share this load. Ne? Yes, thank you guys. Stay very close together, okay? Dangerous because animals buy a tanda kwasha guma reeds a meat and the in the le shab a right in the way right for when wuti bati had. So guba legi lugu to zunda hambe kala elite guide a check a check and then we follow. Can you see the patch of sand? Yes. Uh, if you lift up, lift up your eyes, you can see the blackish thing on the grass. It's a buffalo. Down the bank? Yeah. Mm. See? Mm -hmm. right. so can you see? Can you see? Can you see? You're too short. Can you see? Buffalo. As we walk in the front, what we look, we read the soil uh, for the footprint. You can see that the buffalo was here. And then also you can see this footprint is for buffaloes. It went that direction. Okay. Why these are my spores? You get what? I need animal spores. It's not my footprint, but why these are my animal spores? Boy, can you imagine? What if buffalo can be? So yes, I born was it? Let go my ass, shut in. Boy, he never shut in. Let go hundred times. Hey, one hundred times. One hundred rand. We are born. One hundred leg, one hundred rand. That is the thing. I turned it now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to send them to you. Okay, you can go into the pizza. I just... This beetle lays an egg and what comes out of it is a, like a big worm. Yeah. It can be a bigger size than this one. Oh, you get big mm. balls. Twice that size. Twice. Easy. Oh. Easy. Mm. Mm. Oh. Once he's finished, he pushes it away and she rides on it. So she just holds on and he pushes and she goes round and round and wherever he goes, she goes with it. The females also call food balls. Um, they will also build a, uh, create a ball, but um, for the mating, it's only the male because he makes the ball, and into that ball they're going to lay the egg. Okay, so then she just gets a free ride, but for her food, she needs her own balls.
She's a dragon. The most difficult part was when we were crossing the river. Then the sand was busy mushing down and down. Then you fall down, then you have to pick up yourself. Well, do you have a backpack? That was the, a battle for me. But I tried. Zondi and I will be sleeping, so we won't be watching after you. When we're here, we are we have an awareness, but we still sleep. Okay. Um, during the day, we take care of you, and at night time, it's your turn to take care of all of us. We don't want a big bonfire because it's not going to make any difference to them. If they're coming, they're coming. But we want this this size fire is perfect. It lets them know we are here. Um, lions are quite tall actually, so don't misjudge from height. But if you see eyes that are close together looking straight at you, that usually is a cat. Sometimes buffalo, for me, their eyes, they're quite wide apart, but they're still both looking at you. So just check. If you see a cat, okay, if, if they're walking on the other side of the river, that's fine, enjoy them. But if they start coming towards our side, crossing the river definitely, but if they start heading in this direction, then you need to wake us up. Okay. We don't want you waking us up once they're in camp, because then it's too late. And with cats, you will shine the light in their face. Right. Because we want to keep them and we want to blind them. We don't want them to come here. We're not welcoming them. Um, buffalo, rhino, so if they're walking down and they're going towards the water, that's fine. If you hear noise, you need to check, and I'll show you where we're going to shine in a moment. And if they start coming in this direction towards camp, you need to wake us. Okay. Guys, it's not for you to deal with any animal. That's not why you're here. I'm sleeping on the rock at the end. Please don't hesitate to wake me. I don't mind. Okay. So just take ownership. I wanted to learn more on how to protect the whole group without having, having to force you guys to kill the cats or kill them in, in the manner of protecting us. We're not here to kill them or poach them, we're just here to embrace mm -hmm. and um, appreciate the wilderness. So I wanted okay. something like Fantastic. that. If you see a cat, the first thing you're going to do is I'm going to shine the light in its eyes and, and then call, you. call us. Yeah. It's not something that we can say, this is what the cat will do and this is what you must do, because every situation is different. So it's learning to understand 
the animal and to understand the signs, which in a week wow. we can share some of that with you, but you would never be able to make that kind of decision now. And we don't expect you to. So you are like our eyes and ears when you're on night watch. But fear is a really, really important part of being here. It's what it's what's allowed humanity to survive. Remember we used to live here. This is how we lived. And if we didn't have that bit of fear, we wouldn't have survived. She heard her voice, then she quickly came this side, then she saw a buffalo. Buffalo, guys, buffalo. She went to ran to Janet. Janet, there's a buffalo. Then she said, I just point the torch to, towards it, it will go away. And she was shaking. I said, oh, poor little girl. Then I just kept quiet. Then she came back and, sh and, and, and shone the torch. And the animal just went to go back. And she was so happy and relieved. I said, hmm. And that was scary. And said, it was big, big buffalo. <laughs> And that made my day, my night. It's nice to be here than home. <laughs> yeah. My father passed away on 2004 when I was doing grade four school. Yeah, my mom raised me up until I'm a big girl. I asked her some questions about my father and I didn't get the answers. My daughter has four years and I'm not living with her. She lives with her sister because I'm looking for the work. So um, I take her to her aunt's, yeah because it's home day, everyone is working. Yeah, so I miss her so much.
Anyway, I have two daughters. The other ones, the other one passed away. Yeah. In 2015. So it's just beautiful for me. Yeah. But they are not for the same father. <laughs> Ladies? Yes, yeah, sometimes also it gets deeper. So you must just be careful where you choose to come to the river. All right. So you stay away from places like this. You can see here it's shallow. That's fine. Okay, the crocodile, if it comes, you can see it. Crocodile likes the deep water. All right. Wow, this water is mm. My feet are aching. They are in pain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wilderness, uh, especially in Volos, it has been one most powerful place or area that I was ever into, introduced myself from my early age. And I've connected into Volos 
more than I've been connected to my mother, maybe, or the family, you know. And I always feel like home and safe in the wilderness. So, claim the mission by that in the town. And the E one is the shower of a talent from the coffee. So, each a Loguka, ya umbila, for good connage, lay and get a lebabega corner, umbila, Besaguba Connelling, Ellie Grinder. And we're not allowed to get to lift them out or to take anything because young Kinto Ella, it's ancestral for Tina. Yamadlozi, a to Alas in Gona Connut, oh, Gossiam, Bay Corner, in Gonya Magazi, no Mingonya, Magusho, and Uguti. By a mine, a band to my the Abaya Kumba, Lumsha, Baba Cooper, whatever it is, Lea by Cooper. Who knows where they have a mine or where go fear my bulldozer, a bundle, and so on. Ibing echo in such thing in that land. So the fact you would corner such thing, who corner a matuna, who corner zombies. So Marge, your uncle lay on the layer, see a singer, see a sing bona, see, 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 like again, when you don't go back. Babe created for the earth, born at themselves, Balibala Uguti in Mishaba Uguti Mugutu Wenziwe or Unageke Lukanja. Here we hold something called Indaba, and it is something that has grown out of the ancient tradition of many cultures, and it is done in a circle. So you can say anything you want to about how you're feeling, your experience, and it's about you. Okay, we don't talk about other people. So there is no response. It is just about listening. Okay. Most important thing, and the ants thing. I don't know, I don't know if you understand me, guys. Ants like objects. Isn't it? But like you know, when you zoom in, it's not ants. In the enga enga observe that guys, not in Kamugala. And when like I got here, the connection between us guys, wow, wow, it's amazing. And especially yesterday at night when I was doing my night, what when I was doing that. I was in like, I was terrified to be honest. I was shaking out of my boots. <laughs> it was like an amazing feeling. I never thought that like ever before. I thought I knew the world, but never like that before. So the responsibility was like, oh um, But what made me feel better is not because of Zondi and um, internet. It is because of you, my sisters. You made you gave me like that courage. So guys, just wanna say thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Even in my dreams I like you and my sages and stuff, my super so thank, <laughs> thank you. I'm very proud of the girls I'm with because instead of um instead of Waking up Bob Zondo and Janet when we, we saw something, we decided to be brave. And um, yesterday you made me feel safe, everyone. And I um, just want to thank you. And so far, I'm getting used to being in the wilderness and the stories I hear about um, Bob Shaga and the, what happened years ago. It makes me feel special to be here in the same space where my ancestors lived. Thank you. When I was at my torch, there was a pain came in my heart. That's it. Now I'm going to be alone and my problems I have to face it. While I was during the night watch, that everybody is depending on me. So I was thinking of the animals 
at the same time, I was thinking the pain that I have, that it's time to relieve the pain when I, I have the the not the word not in the watch. So, guys, uh, please can you forgive me. Uh, I, I'm so emotional and I'm thinking about my pain. So, why? That's why I'm here. I'm going to relieve all the pain, please. Um, can you be supporting me? That I have a lot. So, I think I'm going to be healed by coming here. So, I think last night helped me a lot to gain my myself my everything i'm going to start my life afresh so i'm so happy to be here i don't know how to show you that i'm all of happy I, I, I'm, I'm i'm happy of off i don't know i'm so happy thanks god that every every step by step i'm taking some things that are relieved in my shoulder thank you They can sense what's going on, but they can't see. Remember I told you that the, the rhinos are territorial, the male? So this is how he communicates with all the other males around to say, this is my land, this is my home, and he marks his territory. And he has quite a large territory, although they vary, but probably about two kilometers square, and he walks almost every day all the way around his property, and he comes here, and you can see just where you're standing, Tim. He's been scraping here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here. So he does this. You say, this is mine, this is mine. So if another male is coming through, this male will let him pass as long as he shows respect. We learn from them to respect. Even when you are uh, entering somebody's house, you have showing respect, taking off the head and uh, start calling. Okay. The females, the black and white, what they do, especially the black one, the baby walks at the back and then the mother walks in the front. Why the mother is walking in the front and then the baby walks at the back? It's because the mother has to open the path for the young one, okay? So the mother has to suffer to make sure that the young one doesn't get hurt, okay? And in our culture, you guys, most of the time what you do, you carry the baby at the back. It's similar to us, okay? And then when you look in Western culture, the white rhino, normally the baby walks in the front, okay? And then the mother walks in the back, okay? And then if you look, E or tennis won't allow, normally they carry the baby in the front, you know? <laughs> so they behave like us. So we learn a lot from them. They, they um, what they call, 
Bushela Ubund, Iluan, Bushela Ubund, no Buen, Ubund, Uban, who come back in the lab. So you go and listen at hand to what he eh, see lose. Gobo will lose our way to Zotina, see? Pelelo Uptina, no beggars and no was who is come out. Okay, as you can tell here, yeah, it's more tense, and then we need you to punch together. Don't open bigger space amongst each other. Okay. And keep your eyes and ears open because this is Black Rhino country. Yes, it's right. 
Is it ready? Yeah, it's tough now. It looks tough. I heard they they like they starting to mine nearer and nearer here. Yeah. You saw? Did you see the mines when we drove in? No. <gasps> How? I haven't been here for a month. Mm -hmm. Oh my word! It's right by the road. Mm. When I was here last time, it was far from the road. It's now. And what does it feel like? What does that feel like when you see that? It's tragic. And now on the other side, they're trying to do it as well. So Where will it stop? You? Yeah. Sure. But the noise is so much for people who are here. How much more for the animals? So it's going to be twice as much when you can hear everything at night. Did you hear it last night? Yeah. yeah. And I thought it was it doesn't yeah. stop. Isn't yeah. something being done about it at the moment? They wanted to start mining 50 <coughs> meters from our fence. 50 meters from the wilderness fence, upstream. Can you imagine what would have happened to the water here? Mm. And the people of Fuleni stood and they fought. And so far they've won. Yeah. But we can't stop because they are secretive. They come when you think, oh, okay, we can stop now. But meanwhile, in the background, they're still working. So we can never stop. Uh -oh. La manda na le mamoya ipiriti zavanta badala esi chelpe guaz esi haba pe guab abasi saroundi la baskagi le ibo la abazo snege zamadlo guti lendo bazan ibo nagan si fisa ti na guti masis pumala chame abu pumengi ti ei kosiam ke bonile amanda in nature esebenza kuli. Yeah, guys, I'm going to and I don't have friends because I understand. But I'm going to And I'm going to love you all. And I'm going to love you all. I'm going to love you all. Spiritually, physically, everything. Yeah. From the first day, yes, I was scared that uh, these girls are coming from um, rich families, so I'm going to be the, the one who's the, coming from the lowest or who's not rich and so on. So, but it's like you are my real sister, my blood sister. 
everything. I feel motherly love, sisterly love, everything. It's like we are coming in one family. Thanks a lot, and it means a lot to me. I'm free, and I'm planning to have a, a bright future. All the past have gone away with this river. So thanks to all of you. I realize that we are all the same, even if we do come from a rich family, we just all the same. So I realize that some of us have more problems than each other. Well, I lost my mother, who was the only person that I could speak with, but now I realize that even if you never a mother, parents, you have I have sisters which are like me, which love the same thing. So I'm very grateful for that. And I wish we can carry on like this until we can see more things together. Now, if you look very carefully, you can see that the web is golden. Mm. And when the sun shines on it, it's very golden. And if you walk into this web, you, it's very hard to walk through. Mm. You'll yeah. walk and it will stop you because it's so strong. It's called a golden because the oh. thread is golden. Orb web because it builds in a circle. Orb means circle, mm. web. The males are very small and they will live around the edge of the web but they have to be very careful because if they run on the web, she'll think, hmm, he has lunch, and she'll go and kill him. Yeah. This whole area here used to be one of those homesteads. If you look around carefully, sometimes you find little bits of pottery and clay um, from what they used to build with and make pots with them. So here you are holding a piece of history. But again, oh good big abandabasa to yeah, wilderness or in the area. Yes. So say protected from people. Sengen and Jay Labo Bandula. Even Navanda Basha Lagules in the good very rare good lesson and Wagunia families. And a lesson would up a dal and a matter of Kizobon Shabawa Gate. In the member, you call an angle of people on the level of coming in Langapana. There is a pause there. We don't know that the mine was mining under. Or we don't know. The first no. thing about mining, they dig and then they don't cover, they oh. take what they want mm -hmm. and then they go. 
Okay. Ne painful guti mabemba, manga begu tue la kule mabegu muzu mundu lo. Uma be figi le mati bape wa toti gukoni kolit, o gukona la ma le le lelo lelo la shele. Bazok suz. Ima ni la, ya sonde la banye sebe shala nga paga tigi boundary ya yo ima. Zobon, community, Uma lendo Langa paratigumina as a human being, kunja, we might be fast, it's a lame last. Got the young affector naming Shalaga Mash, young and then go when Zagalala, who we are was an animal when Zanguzo Hamba girl figure. We are cool, Ramaja, we are few, Majavan Banezi for Baya, Sanyabana, Mati Bibana, Malang, what what you mean, go away, my cancer song, Ela, and um, Sindo when Zaga Zonke is into Jabahila Leon, the Guning, Guning Goose is good. We don't approach the dangerous game. But animals like impalas, zebras, kutus, giraffes, and so on, we do approach them. Or we walk close by them. As we walk in there, can you please don't stop? Keep on moving. Once you stop, they will start to run away from us. From here, I'm, I was wondering which cave we're gonna go to. I think so. Think I'm going to go to the first one. Okay, I'm going to go to the first one. 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 I <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. Isn't even right? You can't believe me, met all what we feel again. I want your life side and go for the silicon. Go one o'clock, as in as in ten months, I want to have big. Hey, Bossazing, I could make some blue and banner. No, I don't know, Miss and Cousin Park. What's it? Financial, I'm tired. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go Forget it, please. I think 
make your cup of coffee and then uhambe nayo because the solitary by legging the tree and the and the lana is in the in the winter and a fancy the magic sakanya did it show any lang as a grand again a good pen and as a police man. We all going out. Ilo ayama yet otherwise omu yuzo ya gule lea rock but it's best you go this side because of Janet because we can still see this one so Janet is gonna be over that side nama uzondi everybody will be around there to see so find your own space it's just for you finding your own beautiful rock to sit on ube grounded to learn Yatanda <laughs> Yazam. Oh, so when I went up with the mountain, the last one I went up with the mountain. So when I went up with the mountain, the last one I went up with the mountain. It's possible that human beings can live in this place. Yes. The anti-poaching guys are out for weeks at a time and they're living like this. Like we are doing now, but they do it for weeks. It is such a big help when people are on trail because it discourages the, the poachers. Is the elephant teak, the, the big ones? Yeah, the tusks. Yeah, the tusks. Are they different from the rhino horn? Yes. So the rhino horn is the same as your hair or your nails. It's called keratin. Mm. That's all it is. And, and the thing with rhino horn is the people who are using it there's several things, but they think it has special powers. Um, but it's it's now become a symbol of status. Because rhino horn is worth more than anything on this planet mm. per kilogram. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That horn grows. If you cut it off, it grows again. Oh. Yeah. And it takes about two years for a horn to grow. But it's just here. You, you can eat your nails and it's the same thing. In order for the poachers not to like kill them, then take out their own. Yes. How is that going? So there's many things that people are trying to save the rhino, and one of them is cutting off the horn. Obviously, to get a full horn is much more valuable, but the poachers are still poaching. This little bit of horn is still worth maybe 100,000 rand. So they still kill them for that little bit. So elephants are being slaughtered 10 times faster than rhino, mm. but it's for those tusks. They, they say within the next few years there will be no elephants if it carries on at the speed that it's going now.
there was something like a strike in my stomach, so, and my heart beat fast. I didn't know what to do or to pray, but the thing, I, I, I was brave by a, a small prevention. <laughs> and when I scanned, it's like there was something looking me in my face. That was something. So, so me, I don't know. There was that feeling that I'm scared, but now I'm fine.18 months ago, two years ago, you were walking in a rhino heaven. You were, it was like you were walking through this rhino home. There was evidence of rhino everywhere. You met rhino everywhere. And now, in five days, we see five rhino. Um, and rhinos are fairly sedentary, territorial, they don't venture far out of their home ranges. And I have to ask myself, where have they gone? When I went to bed last night, um, I saw the blood and tears of the rhinos around in this environment. So we've been stepping into the place where the rhino get killed by terrible people. And then sometimes when you come across to them, you know, it's, it's very painful for me because I do have a deeper understanding. And then I've got this job through Dr. Ian Blair, the founder of the Wellness Leadership School. Without him, my life will be nothing. Um, so he's always in my heart. 
wherever I walk. And being out from my area where I grew up in Hawik, coming here, when I was in Hawik, I felt like I'm in the cage. But when I started to come and walk into this precious environment, uh, it was another page. It was a, a new page opening to me. Three times. In psychological and emotional issues go about over one October. So, what affected I'm going to go to the 
relationship Umawa hamba onana ubudaga kamangiti. Umangiti wa mnila. Imbubu. Yeto kishuti ya ingolusuwa makunda ani. Mbude. Kutapakale kubuti. Amakunda menze yungi. Mbude. Kisa kipotote six 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 safe. Mbude. 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 Manchukshumani <laughs> Yeah, different and so I'm not going to 
Thank mm-hmm. you.